Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So it has been an amazing adventure here in Israel, and the adventure continues. You know, there are so many herps here. There's such a diversity of snakes and lizards and turtles and everything you can possibly imagine. And the reason is, is because this is a natural land bridge between Europe and Asia and Africa. So all the African species and European species and Asian species, they all come together right here in Israel. And now I'm going to continue my Israeli adventure by going from one end of this country to the other to see how how many really cool herps we can find. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles. And I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. One of my favorite lizards that comes out during the daytime here in Israel is that one sitting on the cliff face over there. That's a rough-tailed rockagama. Locally, they're known as hard-ons. Yes, H-A-R-D-O-N, hard-on. <sighs> they eat arthropods and other insects, really anything that they can overpower, but they've also been observed eating birds and baby birds right out of the nest. But because there's not a lot of standing water around here, as a matter of fact, there's hardly any, they also have to hydrate, and they do that by eating flowers and plant material and leaves and things like that. And they're one of the lizards that you see just everywhere. They're on buildings right in the middle of the city. They're on rocks out here in parks. They're just everywhere, and they're one of my, you know, never get skunked lizards when I'm out here. So there is sexual dimorphism amongst these guys. The females are much lighter and kind of brown in color, while the males are a striking jet black with little white spots all over their chins. I certainly like the males a lot better than I like the females, but right now while I'm here, it's the hatching season, so there are tons of small little hard-ons running around. So where we are right now is on the Syrian border. Right behind these hills is Syria. As we all know, there's a war going on in Syria. We wanted to come up here because there's some really awesome reptiles up here, but because of the war, a lot of the area around here is closed off to the public. Those bullets can fly directly here into Israel from a mile away in Syria. So they closed off a lot of this habitat and we're gonna have to make do with where we can actually go and where it's actually safe to go. But we're gonna have to work really hard to find anything up here. But I'd rather be here and safe than over those hills in Syria. <laughs> Sitting right over there is another baby rough-tailed rockagama. Cute little guy, but it's all that we're seeing. It is so hot and so dry up here. And I really don't like to think that I drove all the way to the border of a war zone to see one of Israel's most common lizards, one that I've probably seen over a hundred of while I've been here already. But if that's all we see up here, you know, that's part of the reptile adventure. Sometimes you see a ton of stuff, sometimes it's hot and dry and you drive for hours and, well, see only a common lizard. It's still pretty awesome. I was told about this place that I'm at right now. This is the Alexander River, where the giant African softshells live. Huh? 
tons of them here, and these are protected by the Israeli government, as are all reptiles in Israel. And this park is aptly named Turtle Park. It's kind of easy to find, but it's a place where Israeli families come and they have picnics and there's a playground over here. It's actually a really cool place in the world and it's so cool to see all these kids here, you know, learning about these turtles and learning how to protect these turtles and how important these turtles are so that these turtles will be protected for the next generation and the next generation after that. These guys are enormous. They are so much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I mean, I knew that they were big, they're giant African soft shells, but some of these guys are like three feet across. They are just absolutely enormous, beautiful turtles. And I'm actually surprised to see a lot of the adults carrying that yellow polka dot pattern into adulthood. Oh, this is such a cool place. And after driving four hours today just to see a oh, baby lizard. Coming here and seeing this and seeing the families having fun and seeing how many turtles are still left here. This is the end to a perfect day. So the sun is setting as you can see and after dark, that's when the herps really come out around here. So I'm gonna call the boys, we're gonna meet up at a sand dunes, we're gonna walk around tonight and we're gonna hopefully see some really amazing herps after dark. <laughs> What you got there, Ty? This is uh, the false mood snake, Macroprotodon cuculatus. Okay. This snake is a uh, rear fang snake. He likes sandy areas. He's uh, common here in Israel in all the sandy areas of Israel. The snake uh, eats lizards. I think that uh, he's one of the most nice, the nicest snakes that uh, that I know. Never tries to you know, attack you. Or right, or bite you, like, right, right. Or something like that, yeah. Cool snake. Yeah, he really is a cool snake, isn't he? Yeah. Cool. And, uh, it's not so common. This is the, the thing, that uh, you meet him once in a while, you know, it's not uh, so common. So we're pretty lucky to find uh, this beautiful individual uh, here. So that right there crossing the trail is a coin snake. It's also called a coin marked snake. It's one of the colubrids found here in Israel. It's not really too common, but here on this cliff, well, that's about the second or third one that we've seen. And they get their name because of the blotches on their back look like, well, coins. And so therefore, obviously, it was coined, well, coined, <laughs> coined the coin mark snake. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> Check this out. This is Camellio chameleon. This is a Mediterranean chameleon. And these guys are diurnal, but you can catch them sleeping on tree branches like this. This is such an awesome guy. This is actually an adult. There's tons of babies around here this time of year. So hopefully we can see some of the babies on the trees. But this guy is just absolutely amazing little dude. This is one of two species found in Israel. It's this one, the Mediterranean chameleon, and it's the Sinai chameleon, which is found further south. But I'm going to put him back on the branch and I'm going to let him go back to sleep. But again, sometimes these guys are active at night. Usually you can find them sleeping, but sometimes you can see them walking around, probably trying to find a place to sleep. But these are just cool little dudes here. And again, it's one of two species of chameleons that are native to Israel. And this one is the Mediterranean chameleon. Such an amazing little guy. So look at this little baby chameleon. There's my finger for comparison. So this is the time of year that all the baby chameleons start hatching out. They sure are cute when they're babies. There's another one down here. There's a bunch of them on this tree, which means that the eggs are probably laid right under this tree and all the babies are coming out and coming up on this tree. Here's another one crawling across the ground. I may have just hatched out tonight actually. I'll tell you Rattlers, it is so cool to be out here 
and seeing these little baby chameleons that probably just hatched out within the last day or two. And this shrub here is just full of little baby chameleons. All right, get up on that tree before Predator gets you. You know, Rattlers, there's a reason why I keep coming back to Israel to go herping, and it's not just because this is such an awesome country. It's because of the diversity in reptiles that are here. You know, you have Asian species and African species and European species all in one close proximity. And I'll tell you, Rattlers, you know, going to some of the most potentially dangerous places in the planet to get you guys up close and personal with some of the most amazing reptiles is what the Reptile Adventures is all about. So I've got a couple more days here in Israel. Israel. I'm going to tour some private collections and tour a really cool zoo. So until the next reptile adventure from here in Israel, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.